All right, good morning again from the left coast. I'm coming to you uh, live. Hopefully I'll stay with you live because our internet has been sketchy at best. Hey, Nay, what's, what's going on down here in the little tide water? How you doing, girl? Good morning. I can't wait to be able to bring you guys into the feed and, you know, just have everybody talk with me and Timmy. That's going to be so fun. We almost, we almost there, y'all. We're going to roll that out in the next week or less. Let's hope it's less. But um, I'm out here on the left coast getting my business life in order. Oh. Anybody, everybody, come on to the party. I just invited D.L. Healy to the party. I didn't mean to. Not that he's not invited. I just think he's way too busy to be fucking with me because it's too early for this shit this morning. However, I think that it would be great if he would come into the party because we could ask him direct some of the shit that we'd be wondering about. Anyway. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. While we wait on the work. Hey, uh, Cynthia, how you doing, girl? Good morning. So I'm having a good time out here on, on the left coast. Um, just rising and grinding. Hey, little Timmy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Stop making that face. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's up? How you doing, boo? I'm good, baby. Right. How you doing? I'm good. Good morning. Good How's morning. it going over in Dauphin Land? We should call that La La Land with all the goddamn Dauphins and shit you're dealing with. Yeah, I'm you ought to have a Dauphin broom and brush. I'm about, to, I'm about to start handing out pillows. Everybody nodding the fuck off. All these sleepy ass people. I saw that post you put out with the, the daggone the girl in the street that was, and shit. That was a female. Yeah, that was a female. That was a girl? Oh, my God. Drugs are, drugs are ruthless. Yeah, they are. Yeah, she looked rough, man. I know. Poor thing. What happened? Looking sad and so entertaining sometimes. I know, <laughs> right? I know. It's sad. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Drug addict is sad as him on drugs, but goddamn, it's so entertaining sometimes. It's just hilarious. It's quite I seen a dude the other day. A dude tried. A dude, a dude. This guy too. I swear, he had Velcro tennis and tried to tie him up. He yeah, got right. Velcro. He had Velcro tennis, but tried to tie him and then tried to tie him up like shoe string. <laughs> it took him three hours to realize it was Velcro. That dope was good. Hey, that Bree, dope baby. Was good. good morning, Free. What is your boss's name who attended Epicon? Anyway, um, we had such a good time. Listen, Timmy, I want us to start off saying rest in peace to John Singleton. The yeah, world, our, our world has experienced, you know, a great another. Love. Yeah, man. Dang, go on. Sometimes I just wonder, like, you know, what, what the hell? You know, God old as fuck, right? So I think he might be up there calling people by the wrong motherfucking name. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't mean to call John Singer. He's too young. We need right. him. There's yeah. more black movies he meant, to be made. Right. He meant he meant to call John Amos from uh <laughs> from Good Time. Hey <laughs> John Singleton. I'm at oh, I, damn, I'm at Amos. I'm at God damn. I'm at Amos from Good Times. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. I know it's so sad, man. You know. I you know, Mr. I, Taylor. Does Mr. Taylor have a first name Bree? <laughs> I just, I just watched, I just, I just watched this movie the other day, Boys in the Hood, classic. All of those movies are really like uh, classics now, you know. But this guy was so talented, man. He was talented. He was innovative, you know. He he started doing this thing, uh, producing movies about people that look like us from the uh, Compton perspective. But still, man, I just, I, I feel that loss. I feel that loss. Yeah, me too. You know, and uh, the L.A. people are feeling like they got a double whammy, you know, with Nipsey Hussle dying and John Singleton and then two different, totally uh, uh, categories 
of people, but you know, innovative trendsetters nonetheless, man. We need them. We need them. So that's okay, but we we'll bounce back. Yeah, we always do. Very sad. And it's yeah. a serious loss. We feel the loss. And he said he died so, from uh, high blood well, high blood pressure was one of the causes of it. He had a stroke. He had high blood pressure and yeah. he had a stroke. And couldn't recover from it, man. So if you have high blood pressure out there, please take care of yourselves. Work, you know, work out. Try to get it down. I take my pill every day. You I want to get up. off that shit, though. Yeah, it messes with your liver. Yeah. That yeah. And, and them young boy dicks keep hitting me in the liver. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they said that shit got low. They said they said high blood pressure pill cause uh, erectile dysfunction. Well, that's, why I, to, that's why I have to. That's why I have to. No, it is true. Not no, that they, high blood pressure, but the medicine. Hey, look, medicine, I'm over forty. He wasn't probably wasn't taking the medicine because yeah. the shit fuck with you. It does. It does. I'm over forty. I take vitamin C and I got ED. It don't matter what you take over forty. You can you can take a vitamin C pill and your dick don't work no more. When you're over forty, <laughs> you, you wake up. You wake up every day. Why don't I just give it up. I, I, I just gave it up. I don't even have sex no more. I have. Well, I hope it worked. That's what it's called. That's what I call it now. That's what I, if you want sex with me, like, come on, Timmy, let's do something. Mm, I hope it worked. That's what it's called now. I hope it worked. Mm? Let's let's have I hope it worked. Let's, let's, yeah, let's have I hope it worked. <laughs> uh, die with the lie, Timmy. Die with the lie. Don't I ain't die with the lie. Like you yeah. keep saying you knocking them down, baby. You killing them. Oh, fuck that. The proof is the truth. I tell women straight up. The proof is the truth. I hope it worked. Well, I hope it worked. Yeah. Good morning, Big Dale. Look, Big D back. He's back. Our producer is back, y'all. Your name Dell. I never. Him. I ain't never calling a man Big D. Your name gonna be Dell. I ain't D. never saying. <laughs> I, I won't say it. <laughs> delicious D. <laughs> the D stands for delicious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can never say his name. You just walk up to the nigga and start talking. Never call him that. Call no man Big D. You know, you know how weird that's out. Just, just talk. Yeah, just talk to him. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I, look, sir, I can't say your name, okay? Right. You want me to talk to you and say your name, you got to change it. <laughs> yep. I can say it. So, you know, um, a funny thing happened. Let's, let's transition. <laughs> Miss Jessie. Okay, Jesse Smollett is back in the news, alleged to have been fired. Okay. Rickety wow. Rats. They got rid of him, huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised. You surprised? I'm a little bit surprised, yeah. I'm not. After all I'm that not. shit. Hey, Crystal, welcome to the party. Like and share this feed, guys. I'm a little surprised about that. Yes, huh. I am. I didn't think so. You didn't think what? Everybody knew. Everybody knew he lied. Because you got off in court don't mean you didn't lie. They knew he lied. I didn't say he didn't lie. I'm surprised he uh, got fired. Well, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm sure they did it. They're all that controversy. They don't want all that. You know, when you got a TV show, you don't want all that controversy and all that backlash, all that negativity. They want them out of there. I knew it was going to happen. Okay. You know? They got him out of there. Apparently, he was pleading for his job, according to, according to the uh, blogs and stuff. He was pleading for his job. Oh my God! Whoa! I just saw something. I gotta call. I gotta uh, call Tracy. Anyway, he was pleading for his job, and um, um. Oh, I just he, saw something that threw me off. What did you see? Your tax return? Tracy Braxton's niece, Tony Braxton's niece, died. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Oh, oh my God! Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, she died yesterday. Oh man, I got a call. I love her. That was Lauren. Wow, that just changed the whole course of our conversation. Good grief! Sorry, y'all. All right. So anyway, ADHD. I swear to God. Hey, you got you ain't no crack no more. You ain't no crack no more. But you got I know, but you got crack memory. But you just always do this. She was a beautiful young girl. But you always do this. No, she was sick. No, you always do this though. That's terrible, man. That is horrible. That was Lolo. They didn't say what from though, did they? They didn't say what from, did they? Yes, 
related to her heart condition. I didn't wow. know she had a heart condition. That is the worst shit ever, man. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. he's much love and light to the whole Braxton family. That was Michael's daughter, Michael Braxton. She used to be around all the time. She used to come to all the stuff with Tracy. Mm -hmm. Um and she's such a sweet, she was such a sweet girl. That is so tragic. I'm going to call as soon as we're done. Anyway, so back to Jussie. Now, Jussie was pleading because he said that Jamal's character is very important to the, to the family, to the right. uh, Lions family. I'm like, nigga. No. Jamal is a character. Jamal is not. Jamal is not real. I know. I think he is caught up from the Africans, you know, and the, you, the, you know, the beat down and all this shit that fucked Jesse's head up. And he really think that nigga don't live for real. He's not real. I know. I think he really, he really think real. He will survive. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think without him, it, it don't make a difference. It don't make Let me tell you difference. something. You know what they should do? They should say, you're absolutely right. Go back like the soap operas used to do. Remember how the soap operas would just replace a motherfucker? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Like new heartbeat. It'll be the new Jamal. Yeah, uh, uh, look. <laughs> they should replace that motherfucker with somebody else and say he had a whole face surgery and now he exactly. looks like someone else. Remember that movie that TV show was Urkel or Family Matters? That little daughter went upstairs yeah. and she ain't never come back down. We ain't <laughs> that little girl went upstairs. We ain't seen her ass since. She and she became a porn star. She went up there and came, well, girl said, good night. We ain't seen that bitch She never came back. She never came back. They replaced, uh, just like they replaced, they replaced Aunt Vivian on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Remember? Uh, Aunt Vivian was dark skin. Next week, she was light skin. Aunt Vivian was evil. Evil Aunt Vivian. Oh, Aunt Vivian was dark skin. She came back light skin. Damn. Oh, they replaced your ass so, in a heartbeat. So, listen, uh, apparently, Chris Rock, you know Chris Rock and, and, and the rest of the world jokes about Whitney Houston, right? Right. So uh, Chris Rock did a crack joke and Bobby Brown got mad. He Why said, you mad? <laughs> huh? He's like, yeah, you're in college with my Whitney. <laughs> I'm talking about my Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> Nippy. <laughs> talking yeah. about Nippy. So apparently it was a t it was a tasteless meme. I don't have the meme, but um, so people got you know people went up in arms and got oh, mad that did that and saying they they're disappointed. You know they also gave Chris some uh, they gave Chris some some drama about when he hosted uh, what was the award show he just recently hosted. Ah, uh, I just saw what he talked about. It, it was a, the Grammys was the Grammy or something. It was it was it the NAACP Awards? Yeah, it was. It was it was it was it was, it was the award. I know what it was. I forgot anyway, what it was. I thought he talked about Jesse Smollett. It was, they told him not to talk about the Jesse thing, and the first thing he did was come out and talk about Jesse. It was the news. It was what was in the news. Mm -hmm. Listen, fuck them. That shit is crazy. Funny Everybody so damn stop being so damn sensitive, huh? Everybody so damn sensitive. So what? About everything. About uh, everything. You can't say everything. nothing no more. So, uh, I don't know what the fuck Chris said. Let me see what this bam said. I know he said, hurry up, I got crack to smoke, but I, I don't remember exactly what the context was, but Bobby Brown got mad, and he gonna say, during this time of uh, empowerment, women empowerment, you choose uh, to uh, try to humiliate our queen. How you gonna humiliate somebody that's dead? She's that's dead, dead already. Yeah, and, 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 and the fact that she did, and the fact that he ain't lying, she did do crack. Hey, Aaron. She did yeah, do she crack. Did, but did, she ever, did she ever admit it, though? <laughs> you know, maybe he no, she kept saying, crack, crack is whack. Crack is whack. Crack is she said, whack. She no, it's cheap. It's, it's cheap, cheap, Diane. Yeah. It's cheap. <laughs> she danced like, she danced like, she danced like it. I would never do that. I would never do crack. I would never smoke. I would never do crack in front of the camera. <laughs> I like a giraffe and shit. No. <laughs> like, I would never do that. But in your mind, you being still, right? Uh -huh. You just like, you, 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 you be like, stop moving. You like, nigga, I ain't moving. I ain't nobody moving. Stop moving. I ain't nobody yeah, moving. Stop. You stop moving. <laughs> Why are you moving so much? Why are you moving so much? <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh, we are trifling. He's going to say, I thought you was a friend.
friend of the family, Chris, poor Chris. So what? Motherfuckers just can't joke so, about nothing. You can't talk about family members. Who can you talk about? You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, exactly. if I can't say it, who else can say it? Right. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's still funny to me. Bobby Brown lighting the fuck up. You know, just like uh, when we was joking on here about some fellow comedians. What you got? What the I don't know. What did he say? What exactly did he say? Probably nothing big. What's that charm on your neck? Like, why you got that charm? What's that charm on your neck? Like a, uh, like a dog tag. What the fuck you been in a? In a what about the the, the, the <laughs> army? What the fuck you been a surplus army, army surplus? What the fuck it's you got a on that? Timmy. It's a Timmy. It's a tell a Timmy nigga. That's what it That's is. What the fuck your it ass is. don't show up tomorrow on time. Yeah, it's a tell a I was. He's gonna be talking. You got that heavy <laughs> ass thing around your chest. Look like a titty weight. <laughs> like you probably. <laughs> you shut up. This is so. Anyway. Yeah, but we got a few other things that I wanted to bring to your attention, Mister Timmy, yes, and get your take on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one of which. Look, good morning, Reverend Bowie. The pastor here, don't cuss. Oh, oh. We <laughs> fall down, but we get up. Because the same is no, First of all, first of all, first of all, pastor. Play, play. Why you over there? Why you over there? He always listen, he listen to our secular, to saved, our secular news. He doesn't know it's a reason for prayer. Look, pastor's cuss. He know he cuss. Let somebody gotta go outside and bust your windows at church. Look, look, go, go outside and see your window bust at church. Like, shit, them fuckers done got me again. Goddamn, bust my goddamn window. Oh, wait, shit. you talk about Willie Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Wilson and Marion Barry got in the uh, fight out there that time. He was cussing down. He said, I'll whoop your ass, Marion. <laughs> Man, and Barry was like, y'all hear y'all pastor? Y'all hear y'all pastor cussing at me? The congregation was going to say, ooh, that was the funniest shit, man, to see a pastor get into it with a, with a yeah, former no. mayor. I want, I want my pastor so to cuss. Listen, you want your pastor to cuss? Yeah, I do too. That's how you ain't hear me. That's how you ain't hear me, huh? I come to church every Sunday. I be in church every motherfucking Sunday. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> I ain't been to church in a while, and I hate when they call you out. He's like, I'm so, they just, I hate when they stop in the middle of the sermon and, and talk to you, because they, <laughs> that's what they do. He was preaching, and I guess, uh, and the Lord said, oh, Lord, Timmy, how you been? Nigga, why you, come on. You don't call me out in the middle of the sermon? Hey, no, long time, no Reverend see. Boy, Reverend Boy said, stop playing, Timmy. He said, I need to know what you, what your demons, are what you demons talking about in the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's he talking about demon shit, brother. He's talking about demons. All right. Okay. He's talking about demon stuff. That's what yeah. we talk about. What else do demons talk about but demon oh. shit? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to say something now. He got me all shook up. He got me all shook up. <laughs> Poor thing. Don't be scared. He He's he's reasonable. Yeah, so okay. listen, Russell Wilson's still in the news. Russell Wilson is, um, he he's now in the news. You know, we, we talked about him being the highest paid NFL player. So mm -hmm. apparently he gave back to the homeless in Seattle by giving them new, brand new clothes and shoes with the tags still on them. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> he also gave uh, 12000 in stock, Amazon stock to every offensive lineman on his team. That's, now, that's the shit I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm to be Russell Wilson's friend. Yeah, I do too. I, I, yes. I get that. You know, everybody, everybody associated with Russell Wilson is coming up. I love black people. You know what you said that you made know? me laugh? You know what I mean? You, you just said it made me laugh. How can I talk to black people talk about new clothes? You got to talk about the tags. If they knew, we got the fucking tags on <laughs> Black people, he gave new clothes with the tags on them. Mm-hmm. He ain't take the tag off. <laughs> what the tag got to do, Brandon? He got, he got, I got some new hey, shoes. With, welcome to the party. I always do that. I got me a brand new shirt with the tag still on it. I still got the, the tag, tag on my tag shirt. Still on. You know, black people, we got to validate that. We always got that, yeah. You gave him a new shirt. Oh, it's still got the tags on it. It's really new. <laughs> it's new, new. <laughs> it's new, new. <laughs> we did this shit got wrinkles, holes in it, and everything. You just oh, they got the tag on it. <laughs> it's oh, it's new, new again. Mm -mm, look at the tag. You see the tag? The tag 
Lord. Yeah. <laughs> it's newness. But see, that's a hell of a I gift to get somebody. Everybody associates. Huh? That's a hell of a gift to get somebody some stock. The you stocks, you know, they, they accumulate. They can have that for the rest of their lives. That's great that you give your, your linemen something like that. You know what I mean? That's excellent. Instead Listen, of just giving them money, I give them that. I, I want to meet Russell Wilson because I, I got some shit that he can give away. You know what I mean? I got some Sierra can, can start give away. With, can you help me get a new phone for Albie Shore? Let's start with that. I need to get a new phone for Albie Shore because I broke his phone trying to give him a grandbaby. You know what's funny? You know, you know, Albie sure ain't got no money. He ain't got the protection on it. He still got that crack phone right now. He still got that crack phone. Albie sure, Albie sure, Albie, I'm telling you right now, Albie sure gonna be calling you up. No, they just told me the phone cost 400. Give me 250 to be calling. He about to call you up for half the money. Albie sure ain't got no damn money. He know he got no protection plan on that phone. I'm gonna give Albie sure a fucking phone. Yeah, you need to. Albie sure, yeah, first one of the first 3D phones. As yeah, soon right. As they hit the mark, yeah. You, you get that you I'm, get that nigga. I'm, you I'm give a, up. Uh, I'm you give him him all the way up. Give him a boost mobile's probably upgrade from what he got. <laughs> he still got a chirp for <laughs> Hey, hey, is my team around? He still got, he still going to hold that chirp for <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Uh I yeah, I'm doing a show, but ain't no crowd here. Ain't, ain't no crowd. <laughs> no, nobody want, You gotta get off on your own girl. Nobody here. <laughs> Yeah, you probably like, yeah, I got a show at a uh, uh, hip hop people kitchen. like that. I, I got and, a show. And Albie Shore, yeah. I like skinny Albie and fat Albie. I don't care. I just like Albie. He said, mm -hmm. I don't care. Fuck. What So guess what, though? It's some hot lesbian shit in the air, right? So wow. Kay Michelle said she wants to mm -mm -mm, Jill Scott. Picture that. Really? That's hot, right? Yeah. Jesus yeah, killer vision. Like Jesus, hey Reverend, yeah. hey Reverend, how you ask Jesus to kill a vision, Reverend? Jesus kill a vision. Hey, kill a vision, Jesus. I might want to see that shit. <laughs> I might want to see that shit. A question mark and an exclamation yeah, mark boy. having sex. <laughs> Two parentheses Reverend having sex. Boy. Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus kill a vision. <laughs> no, ask Jesus. That's the oh, problem. Jesus. Jesus. God damn. Jesus, take the wheel. You got a question <laughs> mark? You got two semicolons having sex. That's what they both shaped like. I want to see two goddamn semicolons having sex. You <laughs> call a semicolon? Why? Oh, little, ra little Why round on the top, skinny at the bottom. <laughs> little semicolon ass bodies. <laughs> Why would you call... This man, I mean, these women are semicolons. Oh, they shaped like two semicolons. Somebody want to see that shit? Oh, that is hilarious. Oh, oh my God, Timmy, you're going to make my lashes come I ain't, off. I ain't okay, Michelle, with the lashes. Nah, I like you said, it's me, because we, we might get canceled. We might get canceled. We'd be the first duo canceled from, from Facebook. Cause little Timmy out of fucking control. Can we talking about K. Michelle? Coming hey. my man, we talking about Kate Michelle? Now let me just... Huh? Who the hell? Who who who, who, who Albie Shaw gonna petition? Christopher Williams? He ain't done shit either. Who, who is gonna petition? The whole New Jack City crew? Who is gonna, who is gonna petition? He ain't got nobody left. Oh my god! Shut up! Hey, let me ask you a question. Did he have a Shut jean jacket on? Did he still have a jean jacket on with the with the rhinestones? Albie no, Shaw ain't have a jean jacket on. Okay. He did okay. not have on a jean jacket. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I thought he had a jean but jacket. On. I told you. I told you he looked good, Timmy. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I'm too old so to worry about you, you know the actor Jeff Goldblum, right? Yeah, I love Jeff Goldblum. I love him too. Now, that is somebody else who could get it from me. I would what? fuck old Jeff Goldblum. I, I would. Old Jeff somebody Goldblum? Somebody call Jeff and tell him. You, you, you want to the nigga get you mad? I got you know, a good cook right here waiting for him. Hey, look, you know he got mad. You know he's going to get you maggots. That nigga was a fly. He's going to get maggots. You messing with that old. Fly. You know he was a fly. <laughs> He'll get your ass some maggots. <laughs> you keep messing with them old ass men. You know what I'm saying? So look, he went swimming. I don't know what hotel he was at, but oh no, in the ocean. 
So he put his things in a hotel locker mm -hmm. and somebody took his shit in Hawaii. He was in Hawaii. Wow. So this motherfucker was say, call Hawaii 5 -0. Somebody stole my shit. <laughs> <laughs> We need to we need to take Jeff on the road. This nigga is funny. He's hilarious. I like Jeff Goldblum. I still like Jeff Goldblum. I have always liked Jeff Goldblum. Even old Jeff can get. He's it. very. He's a very good actor. I love. Him. He's a very good actor. He always has been. Yeah. What was the movie with yeah. him and Lawrence Fishburne was in? The movie with him and Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, Fishburne. When Lawrence Fishburne played the drug dealer, Deep Cover. It was. Uh, deep Cover. Where, where deep, was deep Cover. It was. It was Deep Cover. No, it was Deep Cover. Deep Cover. Okay, I knew deep it was cover. something deep. I, w I wanted something deep <laughs> watching that movie. Yeah, well, we already know. Yeah. We already know you deep. Like, you blowing ass like blowing into a fucking uh, a, the top of a bottle. <laughs> 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 Every time you open your legs, you hear a train whistle. <laughs> That's like a train whistle. <laughs> uh, you shut up. So you heard about the uh, music festival in uh, Virginia Beach area uh, last week? No, I didn't. What happened? So it's it's it. I, what is the name of this? The Fire Fest, Fire yeah. Fest, or something like that. Anyway, um, Pharrell stepped in because it was it was a mu a music festival that was already happening. And it got like it was getting a lot of negative heat because it was around the time of uh, spring break and all of this shit, right? right. So it was uh, it was th they were giving the festival concept a bad name. I don't have my facts, and I apologize for that. But Pharrell stepped in, produced this festival. The first year, the festival was fire. It was absolute fire. I think it was called the Fire Fest. Let me see. And um, yes, they had Jay Z come through. Wow. Like uh, everybody, everybody in music, even uh, uh, the comedian, Lil du, Duval, Lil Duval. Lil Duval got his huh? little plane. I heard he bought him a little plane. I wonder if it's small, like a little plane, you know? He bought him a it little ain't, plane. It, so it ain't the runway. It ain't the runway. It's the dude. You run out there and just throw the plane. Mm. <laughs> it, it ain't the runway. You right, Duval? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let the wind take his little ass wherever you need to go. Next stop, Baltimore. Little uh, mm. <laughs> Duval flying through the air shit. Wait, you ain't told me hard enough, nigga. <laughs> Probably the most successful. Um, let me see. Wait, man, do I have the name wrong? I gotta remember. So, what so who do they have this year? It's probably artists. Anybody on the feed know the name of this festival, huh? Who did they? I wonder like? who they had as artists this year. Who did they have as artists this year? Listen, everybody, anybody you can think of came through there. Like Jay Z, Beyonce came. I mean, wow. it was fine. It was absolute like pandemonium because they said it was so good it turned it turned out to be one of the most successful music fests in existence wow. in that area in that really? area it was no 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 problems no drama it was just a wonderful time and uh i guess next year is gonna be crazy like it wasn't even too much though the vip package was like 500 bucks for all three days it was a three-day oh, festival yeah, that's, that's really good. That's good. So, anyway, it was, it was, everybody came through there. Lil Duval, uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Pharrell, um, shit. I, I had the list, and it, it just, I wish I was there. I wish I could have been mm. there, because it turned out to be. And that's every year, right? Then to, huh? Every year. They do, they do this every year? This is the first year. I'm sure they will do okay. it every year. Good. Mm -hmm. This was the first year. 
So I'm looking forward to next year. Me and you gonna be there. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody's smoking some weed. I'm just trying to take it all in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So is the dude still trying to sell you weed? No, I'm no, I'm just doing this for evidence purposes. You better stop. You what? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do it for evidence. I'm collecting evidence. All right, I'm good. <laughs> you got snacks? <laughs> I'm getting. I'm yeah, getting evidence. Gonna I'm gonna be hungry as hell later. Yeah, you gonna need snacks. You got snacks? All right, damn, that's the, who made that weed, nigga? Glade? That just smell good. <laughs> He yeah, smells floral. It's a floral array. He got weed made it's by Glade. Weed. It's yeah. the new weed. It's called Ooh Weed. Mm. <laughs> I'm yes. Good morning, Joe. Welcome to the party. Y'all like and share this feed. Like and share this feed. We are right. here each and every weekday morning. This week, we're coming to you a little late because I'm on the She's West Coast. When are you coming back? Mm -hmm. When are you coming back? I'm coming back in a couple days. Okay. Uh, you've been all secretive about nothing. All right. I'm anyway. being secretive because I'm out here working on your career, Lord Timmy. Well, then whatever. I will be I will be in Durham, North Carolina, Friday and Saturday with Chris Paul, and then Sunday I will be in New, in New York for a show. Okay. I got a lot Sunday. of things going on. I'll be in New York Sunday for, oh, so for a show. Oh, so you're going with Chris Paul. I saw you in, in Durham and Huggy. Huh? I'll be in Durham, North Carolina Durham? with Chris. Yeah. Just Chris, no Huggy? I think Chris. It's me and Chris. It's Friday and Saturday. Okay. Okay, that should be fun. Be always fun. One of the best. When, one Friday? Of the best Friday and Saturday. I'm coming on the road with you, Timmy. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm coming on the road. No, you're not. Uh-uh. 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 You know what happened last time you came on? No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Last time, uh-uh. Last time you came on the road, man. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> How the fuck you snoring out your glasses? You snoring out your glasses. I'm like, nothing is your mouth. You Both your eyeballs. <laughs> Get away from me! Don't make me feel bad about you. You like it? Snowing the whole time. That'll be ten dollars. You have a crack. You have a flashback. Crack flashback. Not in the alley. The police coming. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't. You can't make me feel bad. I'm a snorer. Whatever, okay. you sitting there snoring, I'm sitting there. Snoring. You got an A, B, C, what? and D pack. You got an A, B, C, D pack on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Looking look like Bane from Batman. Hello, I'm Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Hope, Hope Flood stayed at my house, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hope Flood spent the night at my house. Y'all Google comedian Hope Flood. So she's my friend, but we're not talking right now. But I love her and miss her. That's why I keep bringing that bitch up. Anyway, Hope came to my She stayed in my house. And I went in. That was the first time I seen one of them CPAP masks. It's like the whole mask. And that shit was like that. And that bitch was laying on the bed. <laughs> yes. And it was right around the time that the Batman Return movie had came on. I swear to God. I did take a picture. You should know. Uh, I know. I should have put that out when that bitch was mean to me. Because that, that's one of them career no. altering photos. My I cousin. Had... That bitch. She looked like a beast whale. <laughs> with the mask on. I was like, <laughs> Batman Returns is in my room. Look, my cousin had one. My cousin had one. So I said, I, what I did was squeeze the cord and save and change him. He's like, <laughs> so let it go. <laughs> I want to see what it did, right? So yeah. I grabbed it. Did you, let me ask you that. When you heard that sound, did your dick get hard? Because that's the only way you get active yeah. is when you got a bitch gagging. Uh, I, I go, wait. <laughs> Otherwise, I, it's yeah. going to be emotionless. It's emotion oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, I do. I, I make love to a woman. I just, I pluck you the whole time. You're going to make some noise. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! I pluck you the whole time making love to you. Ow! Ow! That's the only way I can get off. I pluck the shit out of you. Ow! Oh, you a dumb boy. I call it the. I call it. I call it. Is that from Hope Blood, TJ? I call it the plucking. I call it the plucking fuck. That's what you call it, the plucking fuck. That's the new thing. That was the lie, Timmy. That was the lie. Hashtag that was the lie. Timmy, Timmy Hall be laying the pipe. Yeah. Okay. Literally laying the pipe, hitting. Yeah, I did. I'm a plumber. Yeah. 
Anyway, that's funny. Right, so girl. we got to get ready to get out of here. You in yeah. uh, Durham? Durham Friday, Saturday. In New York on Sunday. So our Wednesday show may not be happening. Why? Um, because uh, we had some other stuff going on at the Smokehouse, and we need uh, to do some things. So I'm not sure. We might be doing something different, just like DJ on the balcony, on the patio. You got to do kind of shit thing. like get a crowd but, and stop advertising and school for the blind. It's a comedy show at the Ivy Smokehouse. There you going? Y'all, y'all promoting all the wrong places and shit. <laughs> Yeah, but play no, that guy, your dad. Y'all think fucking we house for the death. Announcement that guy, your dad. Except they ain't hear it. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't hear it. Oh, you no. Know, we were laughing. <laughs> we were laughing. <laughs> I used to have a deaf girlfriend. I did. She was, she was like hearing, but I loved it, though. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to speak to her. Hi, Jeanette. I, that speech. I just spoke to her. So. <laughs> My deaf girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Jeanette. Awful. All right. You're awful, Timmy. Well, I can share this feed. I think we're going to come to to uh, back early tomorrow. Okay. I think I can do it, too. I think okay. I can do it. So I'm going to make an effort to get up, leave the bags and all that shit first thing in the morning. You're I can share city. this feed. TJ said dorm is bull city. I, can't, I like what doing. I can't mean? wait to go. So, what does Bull City mean? I don't know. He drinks. We know that. <laughs> this this humor him. That's yeah. how you do it. Like, don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, your TJ, is on. Don't, look, your don't. Is on. TJ, violent drunk. Leave him alone. He a violent drunk. He like to fight people when he gets drunk. So, <laughs> TJ, Bull City. Way to go, brother. He a violent drunk. <laughs> TJ, you ain't got to take that shit off of him. Yeah, I'm here for you, TJ. Mm. I got your back, boo. Share the feed, TJ. Share the feed. All right, baby. I can share the feed. Timmy ain't shit. All I right, some, little Timmy. I got some junkies to drink. Somebody just right. ran past the back of your car. I didn't want to bring your attention to it because I wanted you to finish. <laughs> they ain't your, look, they ain't your business. <laughs> Mind your business, you <laughs> fucking snitch. <laughs> you a snitch. Don't worry about him behind my car. Ask, I told him he could stash the drugs in my trunk. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. You probably made him stash the drugs. Big Dale yeah. said Bull City is what they call Durham. Okay. Okay. We we uh we okay with it. We're okay with it, TJ. I'm here for you. Okay. No matter what Timmy says, because it's not it's nothing wrong with yeah. drinking. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing wrong with being a drinker. Yeah, when you sit around with a so fucking judgment. Yeah, well, some That's of y'all be sitting there. Get a live girl. I don't care. Some of y'all be sitting there with a Hennessy IV, old oh, oh, drunk ass. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this has been a great oh, morning. It's wonderful. Yesterday it was rainy as hell here, but it looks nice and sunny and breezy. So I'm gonna go out and uh, probably have breakfast on the patio. Look, look. You, first of all, why are you telling you look you sit there with the Al Roker ass glasses and then you're gonna tell the weather. Oh Al Roker ass. You look just like Al Roker. It was rainy today in Las Vegas. Oh Al Roker ass. <laughs> it was. It was Girl, really bye. crazy yesterday. It was raining. Yeah, it does. It was it was cold. It was chilly. I was welcoming the cold though, because when we got here it was hot as fuck. Listen, every time I think about uh Bishop Don Juan had on that whole suit at the pool. I get hot all over again. I'm having like uh, PTS hot flashes. <laughs> That's yeah. All right, baby. I'll do some work. All right, little Timmy. All right. Love you. Get back to work. Okay. All right, See baby. See you tomorrow, boo. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. It's Tuesday. We were talking with Timmy. I'm coming to you from the West Coast, and I just want to say thank you for popping in and hanging out with us. Even if you see it after we do this, we do this each and every weekday morning. Like and share the feed. Tell a friend. We hear. We just talking. We talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. If there's anything that you'd like for us to talk about, drop a comment right here. Boom, right there. Just drop it. And we will pick that up or send me an inbox and we will respond because we will talk about anybody too. Anything, everything, absolutely nothing, and anybody. We don't, we don't have no cuts. 
concept. What? Anyone who ever been to the MEAC tournaments? Oh, okay. What is MEAC, though? Don't show off. Reverend Bowie's back. Reverend Bowie, I want you to pay for, pray for us. Adios. Adio mio, TJ. Pray for us. Timmy wanted to know how to um, have Jesus take a vision away. The vision of K. Michelle and uh, Jill Scott having sex. That was an odd thing to say. But Jill Scott does have that voice that just wants to like command you to take your shit off. But I ain't never really fantasized about having sex with her from it. But I did have sex to a lot of Jill Scott songs. Like you incite me to chorus. E flat, E Zell. That's the one. Ugh. You incite me to chorus. Yep. And the one where she talked about the man um, laid it down. He pulled some tricks out of his bag last night. It's time for me to get out of here. I'm fucking around. So, uh, I'm going to stop messing with y'all. You know why? Because it's too early for this shit. We'll be back tomorrow. Try it again. Adios, TJ. Hallelujah. Holla back, Pastor. Peace.